Did you guys know we recently hit 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube? Well, we'd actually be at more like 6,000 if the 85% of you returning viewers actually hit the subscribe button. You scroll down just a little bit and there's gonna be a subscribe button for you guys right here. You can even hit like on the video or share it with your friends too while you're down there. And our description box down below also has links to all of the different socials I have. And the best part is you can even leave a comment telling me how much you enjoyed the video, or didn't. I don't care, it's your life. Subscribing doesn't take anything but that one second of time, and it really helps make sure that you don't miss any of my uploads. So if you are enjoying watching all of my content, it helps you out, and it helps me out. Now that you've done that, let's get back to the video. What is up, guys? Ninja Nick back for top 16 of this Champions League in Yokohama, Japan. We have, it looks like, a Maridon deck here. Uh, versus something that's playing Dialga Sleeves. I don't know. We don't know what it is yet because it started Luminion. It could be anything. <laughs> uh, so Maridon uh, is a really great start in the Maridon deck. Obviously, it's in the name. Uh, but it has the ability Tandem Unit. Allows you to search your deck for two Lightning Pokemon. Uh, basic Pokemon to put directly to your bench from your deck. You can choose a Maridon EX. So if you were to Tandem Unit, you could get two Maridon EXs and then use both of their Tandem Units to get even more bench Pokemon. So with one Maridon, you can get another Maridon and usually like a Mareep. And then you use the second Maridon to get usually like Raikou, Raichu, something like that. And then you usually like Ultra Ball for Squawk Ability and then use that turn one. Or you just don't Squawk and you uh, find the last Pokemon another way. Because usually having three Maridon in play is, is pretty uh, is pretty sad. It's a little bit uh, it's a little bit much. So it looks like, yep, so our first Maride, our first Maridon here got this Maridon and Raikou, then this Maridon got the second Raikou and the Mareep. Uh, beautiful Raikous, I really want to get those. Um, the current price of those Raikous are about twice what I paid for my current Raikous, so, uh, which is not that bad. I've been thinking about getting one or two, but I don't want to spend money, man. I don't want to spend money. Just to make my cards look pretty, I can't do that anymore. I used to play exclusively full art supporters, uh, which was really great for prize identification, by the way. Um, uh, but it's just, they're just so expensive. Even now, like, they're so much less expensive now than they ever have been. But they're still expensive because they just print so many supporters these days. They used to not. They used to print like one full art supporter a set. And then all of a sudden now they're printing like 10 full art supporters a set. It's ridiculous. Like every supporter that comes in a set gets a full art and an alt art. It's disgusting. But we do electric generator. We are able to find two energy for our bench Raikou. And we do attach for turn to our active Maridon. So at the very least we can retreat it on the next turn. So pretty darn good start here. And it looks like we are playing some sort of water deck. Please tell me this is not Chen Pao, because I'm tired of Chen Pao. Uh, it looks like it might just be Palkia. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's just Palkia. So there is Chen Pao in it, obviously, um, but it is a Palkia deck first and foremost. So plays usually like a 3-3 Palkia line, 4-3 Palkia line, plus two Chen Pao, just to search out some energies. You play some switching cards. You have... Uh, the uh, cross switchers so that you can use canceling cologne and attack with your radiant greninja um it's a lot more hard it's a lot harder to power up these pokemon than in um just the regular chan pow back excalibur deck um because uh usually what you want to do is you want to go for two palkias and then clean up with chan pow but by the time you get to the chan pow attack you've already used all your energies because all your palkias got knocked out so you have to like get extra energies into the discard pile and like star portal early uh, just to get energies in play for the Chen Pao. And uh, that doesn't always work. Uh, you can Melanie as well. So you can attach and Melanie uh, in the same turn.
but a lot of the time this type of deck needs to play boss's orders because it's just not hitting a high enough damage output with the uh, Palkia V-Star at this point. Um, and it also has Lightning Weakness, <laughs> which is what this uh, Maridon deck exclusively plays, is Lightning Pokemon and maybe a Squawkabilly. So, yeah. Um, Palkia V-Star can one-shot a Maridon, but a Maridon can one-shot a Palkia, so... Uh, and Maridon does not have to evolve to attack, uh, which is very important. Uh, the Luminian that's on the bench is also Lightning Weak as well. Uh, the Chen Pao is Metal Weak, uh, because it is an Ice type in the video game, so it would be Metal Weak. Uh, makes sense. Um, but if we just see something like an Escape Rope, uh, we're seeing a two-prize knockout this turn. Uh, you would be able to knock out the active with the Maridon, but you're going to need like an attach return plus a two energy electric generator in order to retreat into the Maridon and take that knockout. And then you can just win off the back of like double Raikou after that. Um, but it's a lot easier to just rely on maybe your Flaffy and your Raikou. So you don't necessarily want to like overextend yourself by forcing yourself to attack with a Maridon into that uh, active Chen Pao. I think you'd rather like find escape rope or something. So looks like we do use another tandem unit to find our last basic Pokemon being yet another Miraidon. Looks like we're not going for any Raichu in this matchup. Uh, I think Raichu would be pretty decent because it could one shot a Chen Pao at some point in the game, but you don't need to get it yet. You can always wait until a future turn to get it. In case one of your Maridons goes down, maybe you still have access to two different tandem units, I guess. So we are going to forest seal our Raikou. Use that to find, it looks like maybe the electric generator out of the deck. Play it to look at the top five cards and find a couple of lightning energies to attach to one of our benched Pokemon. Looks like we are not going to go for the Raikou for some reason. We're going to go for the Maridon. I mean, that might be fine. But again, if you have an attached return and one more electric generator to hit one more lightning energy, or just one more electric generator to hit double lightning energy, uh, would be fine as well. You can take the knockout on the active, but again, I think that's a bit of an overextension. So yeah, using the escape rope, we're going to get the Raikou into the active spot. We will be able to knock out this Luminian very easily. We can even use the fleet-footed ability of this Raikou. Uh, in order to draw one card. And it looks like that is the Zapdos EX from 151. Uh, it does 120 plus 90 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that already has damage counters on it. It's hard to get those damage counters to the bench Pokemon, but if there are any there, uh, the Zapdos is really good at picking that stuff off. So uh, it's a bit of an interesting card. It also, uh, I have one in front of me. It's the only card from 151 I own right now because my other cards haven't come in yet, but it also has free retreat if it has a lightning energy attached. So uh, it's a pretty decent card. It has two retreat otherwise, but you're always going to have a lightning energy attached to it. So uh, it does get shut down by Path to the Peak though. And it does, it is another 200 HP lightning type uh, two prizer that you're playing in the same deck. So I don't know. I think Maridon's really solid, especially the non-Path build. Uh, it just it just seems to draw pretty hot. It's really good at getting the turn two attack uh, because of the Raikou V. I think once it loses Raikou V in a future rotation, I don't know if it ro loses it this rotation. I think it does. Um, but that's it's going to lose a lot of power specifically then because the Zapdos does require another three energy. So that's uh, multiple three energy attackers that you now have. So we do see the evolution to the Palkia V-Star, and we are going to Nest Ball here as well after uh, playing yet another Luminian. It's just absolutely crazy. <laughs> crazy to me. Or no, we bossed. I missed the boss. So we escape roped, then bossed, and brought up the Palkia and knocked it out. I completely missed that part. So that's the same Luminian that we tried to sacrifice last turn. 
Yeah, there's the Palkia there. We are going to see a Raihan, a uh, companion to the Melanie that you normally play in this deck. We are going to find one energy card from our discard pile to attach to, uh, one basic energy card from our discard pile to attach to one of our Pokemon, and then search our deck for any one card. So it's weird. They're playing a Palkia deck, but they're playing Dialga Sleeves. Interesting. I mean, I I never I always tell you guys not to play sleeves that match your deck so that your opponent can't just get extra information on you. So we are going to star portal get three energy from our discard pile two to the chin pow one to the palkia we are going to lost vacuum away one of our palkia b stars to get rid of the tool the bravery charm that's on the active so that we can uh hit for 180 yeah okay so we're gonna hit for uh 240 and take the knockout with the chin pow trying to make it so our opponent has the hardest way to take the next two prizes by having that Chen Pao in the active spot again. Uh, but we have a Maridon with two energy on it, and all we need to do is attach for turn, and we have that knockout. So I think it might have been better to just attack with the Palkia V-Star. Then you have a two energy Chen Pao that maybe you can attach and Melanie to, I guess. Well, you'd have to Melanie to a different Pokemon because it's only to V Pokemon. But still... Looks like this Maridon deck is also playing Path to the Peak as well. I usually don't like Path to the Peak in the deck, but it can work in certain situations. Uh, like, it, it could have prevented you from, uh, your opponent from star portaling on this last turn. But it looks like we are going to go for an INO. Both players are going to shuffle their hands, put them on the bottom of the deck, and then draw a fresh four cards, because that's how many prize cards both of these players have. Again, we are already hitting 220 with our active on their active. So we are probably just trying to find a way to set up our next attacker for the next turn. Uh, we are probably trying to find that Flaffy so that we can use its Dynamotor ability to be able to find a Lightning Energy to attach to one of our benched Pokemon. Looks like we might be choosing that Maridon. I actually think Maridon's not the worst choice. You have one more Lightning Energy in the discard pile, so you could... Always Dynamotor to the Raikou on the next turn, and then your one energy for turn in hand away from taking a knockout. So, uh, not bad. And if your opponent feeds you somehow another Chien Pao, you still have the knockout that way. So you're down to two prizes remaining. Uh, this is pretty much just an auto loss for Palkia. I think that's why this deck just shouldn't be a thing anymore. Just because Maridon is so prevalent, uh, prevalent in the format. We're going to see that Melanie is going to get another Water Energy down to this Palkia V-Star. We're going to be able to draw three cards from our deck as well. And we are just feeding our opponent a Bidoof, trying to stall for a little bit of time, put our opponent at one prize card. But then what do you do after that? You're going to have to take two knockouts with a Pokemon weak to Lightning. I don't think that's really going to do it for you. Even if you yourself, like, play... Uh, Okay, so you can play a switching card here. Knock out this active, potentially. Do you have enough Pokemon in play right now? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. You're hitting for 200. You need one more benched Pokemon in order to take this knockout, but you do find the Ultra Ball here. You are going to be able to Ultra Ball discard two cards, one of which being an Escape Rope, to find that last bench Pokemon. It's going to have to be maybe another attacker, but... Yeah, it looks like we're going to go for the Chien Pao EX. But yeah, what do you do on this next turn? Your opponent just has to attach for turn and they win. <laughs> like, is there a way you can prevent that? And it looks like the judges are saying insufficient shuffling. Please shuffle uh, more and correctly and better. And then they're going to drop all their cards on the table. Which, if you were in America, would be like a game loss for 
seeing cards in your deck when you're not supposed to because you already did your deck search or something stupid like that. If you accidentally drop your cards, I think it's fine, especially if you've already done one deck search for the game. Uh, but sometimes they're a stickler for that kind of thing. And yep, we are going to take the exact knockout on the active Pokemon for 220 damage. And now all that we need is one lightning energy. Are we going to be able to find it? Draw for turn. We have energy in hand already, plus a research if we didn't already have it. And we are going to be able to attack with the Maridon for 440 damage, knocking out this Palkia V-Star for the game. So yeah, it was pretty even, except for the fact that uh, Maridon just goes too fast <laughs> and hits weakness. Uh, yeah, so if there was no weakness involved in this matchup, I think the Palkia deck could have taken it. But uh, unfortunately, uh, weakness is a thing. Uh, usually not super relevant, but in this particular matchup, it really is. As always, guys, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you all next time for, uh, top eight or something. Is it, is it top eight now? Let's see. Top 16. Oh, no, there's an, one more top 16 game. Okay, we'll see you then. <laughs>